<laughs> it's mech a mech ram cap, cap. Which, which was before it got mechanized. Yeah. <laughs> Before the uh, yeah, before <laughs> before Nomergon had taken it over and built and rebuilt yeah. it as a yeah as a mechanical structure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm glad you get. Well, how's thing. that for lore? Their mascot is Ramses the Ram. Well done. University of North Carolina, Ramses the Ram. It's their mascot. Ram Ramses the Ram. Yeah. So uh, University of Texas, they are bringing Hunter here. They pitched away a Leperno and uh, a freezing trap. They returned with an Iron Beagle and a Glaive Zuka and. The Glaive Zuka, to me, is really the telling card in this. I mean, Leopard Numbers have been found in pretty much yeah. every Hunter deck. It's just a great early card. It helps you leverage your hero power. Uh, but Glaive Zuka is one that kind of falls out of favor. And if you don't have a lot of one-drops to support it, you oftentimes you're just going to lose the effect on it. But it can help you really snowball the early game and pick up a ton of damage. So that Glaive Zuka tells me they are playing a much more aggressive version than you might typically see uh, especially given what we've seen in the Collegiate event, which is a ton of mid-range. It's rare that we see this fast in the Hunter deck, and I think it's a good call, because I think the more aggressive Hunter lists that are meant to capitalize on decks like Secret Paladin are better uh, at the moment in the current form of the meta. G uh, granted, the Collegiate meta is a little bit different. At, we've seen, at least over the course of the regular season, uh, but I like this choice. This Noble Sacrifice is going to come back to bite North Carolina very badly. They have no way to check the Lepernome right now. Noble Sacrifice is trading for half of a Glaive Zuka swing. And like, then, and now they have, I mean, the Lepernome is going to get in at least six points of damage from attacking. Plus another two damage from the Death Rattle. And the Knife Juggler is going to get contested. They have to coin out a Muster for Battle, which ruins. <laughs> and they had to pick up the Muster for Battle yeah. first. That's so brutal. In fact, it's actually less damage to not attack the Leper Gnome. You just use the 1-1 one, one to trade, right? Ah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it returns, it returns the same either way. Animal Companion's a great pickup at this spot. I'm thinking of a card dealer. That's kind of it. Well, that's really good, just because now you can't actually go through this 4-4 um, without using your own weapon again. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, University of Texas chose to just attack face here. I, you know, they welcomed the Lights Justice running into running into this Misha and taking it out. I'd be surprised if they didn't go face. Well, I would. It's I mean, aggressive. It would, it would shut off uh, the, the ability to kill the Misha this turn. Yeah. I mean, it, you might get eight points of damage mm -hmm. out of that. I kind of want the, the trade, though, for health because, um, you know, they, they really want to be able to get as much damage as possible. Oh, this looks ugly. They go for one attack. Perhaps bluffing a uh, no second noble sacrifice here. Yeah, right. But they could. Yeah, uh, you can quick shot the juggler, or you can try to proc with the horse rider, and because you pick up that leopard gnome, that helps you fill out the the curve. Don't yeah, this is going to give them a the lot of information, and they're going to be so happy to see that this is not noble sacrifice. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it proxy that avenge comes out. Having second thoughts about this one now. This is a really important thing to to happen to you. If you're going to have wow. second thoughts about stuff afterwards. Think about what you do before you play any cards, because maybe that event changes a couple of ways they would have played this game. Either way, uh, still in a fantastic shape, I think. Face. Well, Consecration actually does a lot of work, because it allows them to preserve that 4-3 creature. Yeah, but they're still very far behind the race right now. With, But they do have the True Sword Champion and the Kings. That is really huge. Yeah. So I would say that it's very close. But I do think Hunter still has ultimately a pretty decent opportunity to yeah. close out the game because no matter how big something gets, they can Iron Beak Owl, whatever comes out. Yeah, I, well, I think the Iron Beak Owl's hitting this turn. Uh, it, okay. it, you know, it's often going to get two points of damage uh, when they swing the Lights Justice. It does pull some damage off the board right now. It starts letting you weave in hero powers. I mean, this is going to be a matter of whether or not North Carolina is going to be able to race the damage output from University of Texas because this Face Hunter deck is loaded with all kinds of direct damage, be it Arcane Golems, Kill Commands, uh, Unleash the Hounds, whatever it's going to be, pretty much every single card is dedicated to dealing damage as you draw it. Yeah. Um, and so because of that, you know, North Carolina just doesn't have a lot of time. You know, they're not they're not going to be given all the time to just set up and then mm -hmm. trade away minions to protect your, yourself from damage. They have to fight against the hero power and then just the nature of the deck building. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wanted, like, Blessing of kings the one one and just hit face like that's it feels like your best scenario here is actually just to race the hunter as opposed to like worry about what he can and can't do yeah mm. i mean that's I, I totally agree with you i mean that's pretty much the picture that's been painted how do they win this game if they don't just punish the hunter for not having the right answers to a five five 
Is it right? I, you have to kill the owl too because of the possibility of kill commands, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't like it. No, ah, uh, it feels so bad. Yeah, they do lose a little bit of damage here. They're still, they're still clocking uh, University of Texas. Though. I mean, this is, this is a, this is a two-turn clock right now. Savannah Hyman gets picked up. Hello, hi mom. <laughs> that is, that is a brutal draw at the moment, and that's kind of interesting to see, given that we've seen pretty much heavy dedication to the early game. That yeah. Savannah High Main is a card that's that's on the top end. I mean, I would expect this to be more in the lines of like Arcane Golem, maybe even Leroy Jenkins before I saw Savannah High Main. Well, I mean, I think you, we maybe we've judged it a little bit too early. I, I think wonder. you were talking about how it's a face hunter, but it's very realistically it could have just been a hybrid version of it that runs aggressive traps we or saw, even split it like one explosive one freezing we also saw two one drops we only saw the double up or no we didn't see anything like a work and infiltrator or well even hybrid still runs work and infiltrator i think at, um, at times it will it just depends on how aggressive the metagame is yeah and, and realistically mm. i think that the title of the deck doesn't really truly matter in the yeah. end you're still hunter and you're still hitting face a lot you, you, so i think maybe getting caught up in the semantics of it, it's not as important. The, the point is that you need to stop dying, and that's not happening with Jaime now. <laughs> yeah. It does put... Oh, that, that's a missed point of damage there. Competitive Spirit was played after the Secret Keeper attack, and I don't yeah. know if that's going to play a big role this game, but, you know, that. I mean, when it, it comes to close, the damage it, definitely matters. It definitely could, considering he's at 10 health, and there's one way to, like, isolate targets. Um... That's wow, they can even kill the 5-3 here. Really yeah. have no worries. And well, is that, is that, two turns away still. Is that even? I think it's 13 damage, but 13? they also have to factor in if they unload their hand here and it ends up being something like Noble Sacrifice. Uh, well, yeah. I At least they have, have, I think, his first priority. Yeah. I think we may have also gotten caught in a little uh, bug here. I think this one might be actually ended. No? Never mind. Just catching up here. Yeah, we are experiencing a little bit of spectator issues here, so... Um. A player, literally from UNC, is directing the attack of the <laughs> Unleash the Hounds. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mustache Over away here, from explore. Reno Jackson. This, hat. this is a great use of the team mechanics. Yeah, we'll get this spectator uh, issue fixed as quickly as we can. Uh, in the meantime, you can kind of see what's going on here. You know, directing these uh, Quick shots of the these face. attacks as well. Uh, explosive trap almost certain to have been played in this spot, along with the quick shot. You know, putting the minions to two health. Uh, it looks like they just chose to go for face instead and then quick shot the 5-3 off, which I you know, totally agree with as well. You have so much damage set up on board, so uh, as soon as we get this client fixed up, we'll see what's going on. But you know, looking at the cards, this is all University of Texas. They didn't win. Well, I mean... Oh, okay, yeah, Dr. Boom gets drawn. Yeah. All right, well... Uh, through the quick shot, by the way, they drew a kill command. Explosive Trap actually buffs the Secret Keeper, too. Oh, that's, that's something that they were talking about. Oop, they didn't put the mark, right? Like, they actually <laughs> buffed uh, the Super Keeper. Wow, that could have actually made a difference. Like, if Boom Consecrate bot. was drawn. Boom Bot Lethal! Oh my gosh, the Boom Bots could win tier two. Boom Bot Lethals! The Dr. Boom makes a huge difference right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my that goodness. That extra damage could have mattered in this situation. Boom Bots. Hold on. Do your magical and wonderful things. <laughs> it's a 50% chance to hit. The face? Just just for two damage? Oh, man. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Dr. Boom giveth and Dr. Boom taketh away. Oh, wait. No. If he killed the... If he killed the... the two, oh, no, it would have been... No. Yeah, oh, he would have taken damage goodness. either way. Kill Command's going to seal it up. Wait, if he killed the 2-2 two -two with the Truce Over Champion, he'd be alive, no, right? No, because he takes two damage from it. But then the Kill Command loses two oh, damage. Oh, you're right. It would be. Would he, would he, <laughs> and then the oh my gosh! Ah, what happened? <laughs> uh, this is crazy. I mean, the, the spectator client, of course, you know, throwing it off a little bit. It's kind of hard to keep up. 